Now in the previous video, we had looked at solving a uh, question 10 part B, 1 and 2. Okay, and here we have our solutions. Now please be, please note that um, this uh, value, 299 kilometers for RP, was rounded off to the nearest, nearest whole number. Okay, just to make an emphasis on that. So that was rounded off to the nearest whole number. Okay. Good. Now, let's get into solving part two. So here, well, let's just fill in some values. Here, basically, we would have the measurement for RP, rather. Okay, here we would have our 299 kilometers. Okay, so we have the measurements for the three sides now. And in part three, they're asking us to determine the bearing of R from P. So let's quickly, let's just, let's just cut this and bring it down. So we have copied that. So let's just take it down here where we have a little bit more space to work with. Okay. Now they're asking us to determine the bearing of, of R from P. Okay. Of R from P. Now this word, the from, is very important when asked to determine a bearing. Wherever the from, which any letter that follows from, that's where you're going to position yourself. Now if they're asking me to find the bearing of R from P, then I'm going to position myself at P, okay? And you're going to line up on the north line, that's your reference line, and you're going to measure the bearing going in a clockwise direction. So if you notice, I'm moving my pointer in a clockwise direction and I'm coming around until I touch the line segment that connects P to R. So let me do that now with my pencil. So we're asked to measure the bearing of uh, of R from P. So I'm going at, putting my pencil at P from the north line. I am going to come around, okay? And if you notice, I'm coming around and I'm not going to stop until I touch the line segment there that connects both two points, okay? So this angular turn that I've just turned here would be the bearing of R from P. So let's find out how, how, how many degrees we have turned just now. We know that from north to the green line is 132. They gave us that, okay? So obviously it's this angle here, the angle RPQ that we need to find because if we know this angle here, this angle here, inside the triangle, then we can just add it to 132 to get the bearing, okay? Now, based on the information that we have, obviously we can use the sine rule because here we have an angle opposite to a side that we have just found to be 299 and again we have um, the angle that we're trying to find it's opposite to a side that was given okay so in using the sine rule therefore now we can say that the sine and this is part three so let me make a note so we can say then that sine the general form of the sine rule is little a over sine a big A which is equal to little b over sine big B which is equal to little c over sine big C. Okay, that's the general form. But we're just going to manipulate this formula based on the letters and the information that was given. So again, we know that the side across from the angle that we're trying to find is little p. So basically what I'm going to say is little p okay, over sine big P sine big P and that must be equal to I'm just looking for an angle and a side that is given so I have sine Q and little Q so I'm just gonna say little Q over sine big Q okay so let's just substitute remember now um, it's a it's an equation you have and remember um, this this general form that we have written up here it simply means then all combination or all ratios side to angle in a triangle are equal okay but remember it's an equation we're working with so we're only going to use any two pair at any given time okay so based on the information given the these two pairs we can use them so that's why you don't see me have everything here okay just want to make that clear now p little p we worked out it well we were given little p to be 360 degree well the line segment was 360 kilometers and the angle um p we weren't given that's what we we're trying to find so we we're trying to find sine 
big P, okay, capital P, and that must be equal to Q, which we found, which is 299 over the angle sine by substitution sine 56, okay? Now, we can just find the value for this up to about 4 or 5 dp. Let's just quickly do that. So, basically, um, what we have left here is 360 over the sine big P, okay, which is equal to, and if you notice what is happening here, you could just say 299 divided by sine 56, and I'm going gonna be working with up to 4 or 5 dp, just not to throw out my final answer much, okay? So when you divide 299 by sine 56, you will you, you must get uh, 360.659 uh, 1 7 okay and that's up to 5 dp decimal places okay now basically what we have left here we have a fraction here so we could also turn this into a fraction okay and you know we could cross multiply so we could say 360 times 1 and sine p times um 360 point whatever 0. 0.65917 so we could say sine p is really multiplying so let's put that in a bracket it's multiplying 360.65917 um, which is equal to 360 times 1 360 times 1 which is 360 so basically what we did there we just cross multiply 360 times 1 and then we said 360 point that times sine p okay let's just pull this up a bit to get a little bit more space to work with okay my friends now basically here what we have left here now we can now simply say then that um, sine p is multiplying 360.65917 so you know we need sine p to be the subject so i'm going to do the opposite of multiplication which is division so 360.65917 i'm going to divide through by that okay so what i do to one side i must do to my other side so i'm going to divide by 360.65917 okay so let's work that out quickly so since 360.65917 cancel out itself, we're left with sine P on this side, okay? Sine P, and that is equal to um, when we divide 360 by 360.65917, um, we would get 0 0.99817. And I'm working with 5 dp. I can't round off yet any less until I reach my final answer, okay? So let's just pull this up a little bit, okay? So basically, sine is multiplying P and we need the angle at P, okay, my friends? So basically, what you can always do, you could always divide through by sine because the, it's the angle at P, this angle here that we're interested in, P. So dividing through by sine, what I do to one side, since sine was multiplying P, I divide through by my sine. So therefore, over here, okay, remember, um, sine is in its positive one in the denominator. So basically, when we are bringing it up, you're going to get P. P must be equal to the sine inverse, okay, of 0 0.99817, okay? So therefore, P must be equal to, and we're taking the sine inverse of that angle. Okay, guys, so what I just did was just to pull pull my P equal to sine inverse of 0 0.199817 up so that we could see it, all of the question. Okay, so I just took it from down the bottom up top. Now, basically, what we have here left, when we found the sine inverse, you, and you could just plug in shift, press shift, and then you're going to press the sine button to get the sine inverse on your calculator, and we're putting in 0 0.998. One seven because we're taking the inverse. Remember, if sine is to the positive one here, um, when it comes up, it's gonna be to the negative one up there, and it's just it's relating to the general rule in indices where if you have a to the negative m, it is the same as one upon 
a to the positive m. So remember, this is a to the negative m over 1. So basically, when m was positive in the denominator down here, when it came up in the numerator, it became negative. So that's just a property of indices we are exercising here. Okay, now basically, when we found this, the answer is 86. Point five, and I'm going to give it to you to 1 dp, so 86.5 degrees, because we were working out the angle at p. Now, um, to conclude this now, we could say, therefore, the bearing of, and let's just quickly get it out. So as we have our statement here, therefore the bearing of R from Q is, and we're just going to take up our 132, as we have explained earlier, or 132 okay plus now the angle that we have found here which is our 86.5 86.5 and we're just going to add those two to get the bearing of r from q so my friends 132 plus 86.5 that will leave us with a 218 218.5 degrees okay so that's our bearing from of r from q and that's it um feel free to leave any comments or post a question if you're still not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye